In this presentation, I will be discussing celebrity influence over racism by using academic sources as well as stimulus sources. The overall theme of our stimulus sources was change. To show this, I researched how celebrities influence or change minds. I could have used the stimulus source by Mac Margaret Thatcher, but I decided to focus in on racial issues. I chose this topic after reading and listening to Blowing in the Wind by Bob Dylan. During the 60s, the U.S. had laws which treated African Americans as second-class citizens. This sparked outrage leading to the Civil Rights Movement. Bob Dylan, with this quote, showed his support equally, of equality passively. Celebrities are also influenced by celebrities. In this quote, Martin Luther King uses Socrates, a famous Greek philosopher, to explain why he protests nonviolently. To understand celebrity influence, have a look at how celebrities affect ads. As you can see, ad, non-celebrity ads actually do better than celebrity ads. This doesn't mean that celebrities have no influence at all. In a survey, um, according to a survey done in 2013, 19% of participants said that they have gotten more information or done something because of what a celebrity did or said. But what type of celebrities are the most influential? A study done in 2017 by WISERD Education surveyed around 1,200 students in Wales to figure out who the children see as heroes and villains. To figure out, oh, 24.3% of heroes nominated were pop music stars, with only 2.1% being actual activists. Similarly, villains also tended to be pop music stars with Justin Bieber being nominated 26.2%. Bieber at this time was always in the news for drama. He was relevant, unlike Adolf Hitler, who was only voted for 35 times. He was arguably worse. Which leads me to my first solution, introducing positive role models in school. Ones, though, that are relevant, like cartoon characters. Showing positive behavior through fun characters allows children to bond and look up to them. The main issue is racist parents, who will rate accepting ideas. Yet, with the help of school systems, children can look up to those who support equality. By restricting celebrities sounds like the perfect solution. It's a violation of their rights. Even if it wasn't celebrities, even if it wasn't, celebrities can't be controlled in public. This is why I suggest more diversity in media. A study found that when heterosexuals form an emotional bond with an admired gay character, their attitudes towards heterosexuality was improved. Expanding this study to race, more diversity can help reduce racial tension without fear of rejection. The limitation of only those will the limitation is that only those willing to watch can be affected. But to um, but with absolute diversity, racists can't escape it. Just increasing diversity won't fix opinions. In addition of diverse roles, stereotypes need to be debunked. To effectively reduce racism, characters need to be more than their stereotypes. In conclusion, not all celebrities should influence your opinion on silver rights civil rights problems, but the, only, the ones that advocate for equality can help reduce racism. This is my media and my title. Okay, so a couple questions for you. The first one is, what evidence did you gather that you didn't use, and why did you choose not to use it? Um, I had a lot of different research articles, or not research articles, but like articles about celebrities who said racist things, but they weren't very relevant to my topic because they were fairly political and I didn't want to focus in on the negative aspects as much. Um, but then I also didn't use multiple sources that did, that were political because I wanted to focus in on my social lines. Okay, and then your other question would be, uh, if you had more time, what additional research would you conduct related to the issue? 
If I had more time, I would probably focus in more on my political lens. I only had a couple uh, articles that did uh, talk about political, and I would more research more in on specific celebrities like uh, Cal Penn and Donald Trump and Stephen Miller, but I didn't have enough 